purges. And in terms of influence on November the 6th, the Hispanic vote could make all the difference in the world. NBC Latino web producer Sandra Lilly joins me now to talk more about that. And Sandra, the big thing here is about awareness and knowing how voters around this country need to protect their right and how our awareness campaign is going. Um, well, for months, and I would say for over a year, uh, national um, nonpartisan uh, civil rights organizations, Latino organizations, have been saying that it is an issue, the, these owners' uh, voter ID laws, which make it much harder. And the irony is that the problem that the Hispanic community has is not enough Latinos vote. Over ha half of, of Latinos who could vote are registered. So the issue is not that Latinos are going in droves to vote to vote fraudulently, it's that they're not voting. So it is a big issue in the community. Uh, we heard from a strong voice last night, the first lady who was speaking before the Congressional Black Caucus about this very issue. Take a listen. This is the movement of our era, protecting that fundamental right, not just for this election, but the, for the next generation and generations to come. Because in the end, it's not just about who wins or who loses or who we vote for on election day. It's about who we are as Americans. As we look at this, this is a large civil rights issue within Latino communities. A lot of people will watch this segment and they'll tweet me, who don't you know that doesn't really have a driver's license or some type of state photo ID? A lot of people can't process the fact that there are millions of people that may not have the proper photo ID necessary and that their vote is then uh, they're, they're being ignored for their vote or being turned away. You're absolutely right, and, and it's hard to understand, especially if you live in a normal suburb or metro area and you have a car and you have a driver's license. But for example, when they were studying what was going on in Texas, um, they showed there were Hispanics that never had driver's licenses who lived in rural areas that were...